Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a series about building your engine on the Focus ST and RS, but more specifically the ST. And uh, we're going to go through each stage. It's going to require a certain amount of mods. So that's what we're going to explain in this series. And I'll also break down what each stage can be good for for horsepower. That way there it's an easy explanation on not overbuilding but not underbuilding your engine. So first we're actually going to start with a stage zero. I wasn't actually going to do a stage zero but there is such thing. And what it is is basically Gen 2 uh, EcoBoost rods. And so from 2015 on they made a stronger um, 2.0 rod for these cars. Not the ST or the Ford Fusion but they made them for the uh, 2015 Gen 2 Ford Edge. And then in 2017 and up, they made them for the escapes. So those are also the twin scroll blocks for those cars. But anyways, the uh, Gen 2 rods, Speed Performance actually sells them as part of their Stage 0 kit. They're a beefier rod than the Gen 1 rods. Um, they can definitely handle 500 wheel, no problem. Um, would I recommend going that route? Probably not, because H-beams are better. But if you're on a really tight budget, then source your um, rods through speed performance is probably the best option. Now the Gen 2 pistons, I don't know a whole lot about them other than I know they're 10 to 1 compression ratio. So they got a little bit more compression. They're probably stronger uh, pistons or more durable. So on the Focus ST, the pistons are the uh, weak point. As you can see, this is a uh, ring land that fails right here. This was my uh, cylinder one um, piston. So what happened was I over boosted and basically the rings held this in place luckily and it didn't blow out and ruin my block. But when I took the engine apart, took the rings out, it fell apart and the trunk came off. So the RS weak point is the rods. So just so you know, once you hit like 400, 380, 400 wheel, um, because of the turbo on them spool so fast the low-end torque will put stress on the stock rods and Bend a rod on the RS so but on the 2.0 the rods are good up till about 450 wheel reliably Past 450 you kind of have to worry about it. So that's why building your engine is important the pistons on these cars can go even on a stock turbo um, so you're better off just building the engine when you can so that way there you're using the block that you have in your car and not blowing a rod through it or ruining it now i don't know if the pistons in the gen 2 ecoboost are better material than the gen 1 but i would assume so because they're a higher compression and they're probably was you know they're made to withstand more pressure and heat so i'd assume they're going to be definitely stronger than the gen 1 so the next step would be ARP 2000 head studs. So that's what you would want to do for your basically a stage zero. It's not very much Because you're using the OEM main bearings and OEM rod bearings possibly as long as they're good Generally the main bearings are going to show no signs of wear at all the rod bearings probably not either the the OEM bearings are actually probably the best options for building any stage motor at this point um, unless you're going like past 700 a wheel or something crazy, but um, The main bearings have been proven to withstand up to 650 wheel no problem and uh, They actually have no signs of wear compared to like a bimetal king bearing where mine for example had like pieces or chunks coming out of the aluminum so those are were definitely junk, so I went with a tri-metal on this build, but tri-metal generally doesn't even last as long as aluminum. So there isn't much to stage zero. It's basically your rods, replace the pistons with the Gen 2 rods and pistons. So you could also run the Molly 4032 pistons on the stage zero with the uh, Gen 2 EcoBoost rods. So there isn't much to stage zero. It's uh, basically just upgrading to a stronger rod and possibly going with the uh, pistons as well. And also 
while you're there. Do your head studs. Now for stage one, this is gonna be more complex. And this setup here is guaranteed to withstand 500 at the wheels, no problem, no questions asked. So this is what I would do for a stage one setup. Molly 4032 pistons. 4032s don't expand as much and they're better for a daily driven car, um, especially if you're starting and stopping a lot because the 4032s won't wear your cylinder walls as much as a uh, 2618 piston. The 4032s are good for 500 wheel, but I would say after that point, you're, I mean, they can handle probably up to 550, but I wouldn't really be pushing it too much just because it's a uh, really brittle material and it can't take detonation as well as 2618s. But for a stage one build, you're going to, you know, want to go up to 500 wheel or maybe like 480, 450 even. This is gonna handle it, no problem. But the 4032s are the way to go. I don't think um, Manly makes 4032s. Maybe you'd have to get them custom made, but Molly does sell them. And uh, you can get those from anywhere. Uh, Stratified Auto sells them. Also, the other option is actually Supertech 4032s, Mountain so they sell those. And these are actually almost as much, if not more than the molly so you're better off going with the molly because it's going to be a higher quality now next would be um manly h beam or like a molinar h beam or even a uh cali's h beam which is this right here so this is a cali's h beam i actually highly recommend these I'm going to use these rods for my next 2.0 build. Um, I'm going to reuse my uh, OEM crankshaft to not get me keyed. It's going to be a basic, probably below 400 wheel horsepower build. So it's going to use like OEM main bearings and rod bearings, um, ARP 2000 head studs, kind of the basic build, um, like a stage one build. And it's just going to be a run on 93. So I just want to have that as a spare, but these are really good rods right here. So these are really nice. I would say these rods could definitely take up upwards of uh, 550. Um, would probably be the max I'd go at the wheels with these. 550 or maybe, you know, 560 wheel. So 600 crank basically for an H-beam is like totally the max you'd want to go and these cali's rods go for about 410 or 20 bucks something like that on mountain i got these from summit racing they're about the same price if not cheaper and they're faster shipping but the mainly h beams are more the more popular brand those can handle 600 wheel as well no problem um there's been people i've actually pushed even more than that but um you know I'd rather not push the envelope too much on those, on any H-beam for that matter. Um, but if you want to really go economical, the Molnar rods are sold by uh, Speed Performance. Yeah, those are the cheapest rods you can buy that are going to be probably really a little bit better than the Gen 2 rods, for example. But... I would probably steer away from those and at least get the Manly or get the Cali's rods. So I would not get the Eagle rods. I had Eagle rods and there was a problem with uh, the bearing um, going on to the big end and they had to bore it out. So I don't know if that's just a one-time thing, but I would definitely, I heard that that's been a common thing with the uh, Eagles is boring those out. So you're better off just not going with those. Um, but I did push 540 at the wheels with the Eagles, no problem. But I wouldn't go with those, just my two cents. So to finish off stage one, it would be ARP 2000 head studs. So kind of the same as stage zero. So both of these stages, again, we're gonna run um, OEM main and rod bearings. Obviously, when you go to rebuild your engine, make sure that the mains are in good shape and the raw bearings are in good shape. There's like little to no scuffing 
Um, little scuffing is okay. It's not horrible, but mine had 46,000 miles on it before I rebuilt it, and I should have just kept them in there. And, um, there was no wear at all. There was no scuffs. It was incredible. I, I ran Amsoil, and I don't know if that had a big part in the wear or not on the bearings, but, uh, you know, just taking care of your engine oil and changing it, you know, when needed. Like, probably I'd change it at, you know, two, 3,000 miles on big turbo and uh you know so kind of a rundown stage zero you're gonna go with the gen 2 ecoboost rods and possibly the pistons for that and you're gonna get those best bet speed performance and um i would ask them about the pistons but definitely the rods are stronger and then I go with the ARP head studs. You can get those off Summit Racing. And the head studs part number is actually right there, one five one four three zero one. That's the, and they're gonna range about hundred and seventy to hundred and eighty dollars on Summit. Now, obviously, when you go to do these rebuilds, you know, depending on the mileage, you definitely want to replace the water pump. Definitely want to replace the oil pump. 100% replace your oil pump pickup tube. You don't really have to replace the gasket on it, but you can or have it as a spare. And, um, but those can be reused quite a few times. Now, obviously, get your head gasket. I get mine from Rock Auto. And the Rock Auto one is about 20 or $30 now. It was 25 So it's half the price of the, uh, Ford one and it's actually a Ford uh, head gasket but it's Molly branded stage zero would be rated for 400 wheel horsepower so that'd be roughly about 400 crank that would be the safe limit stage one would be 500 wheel horsepower be the limit for that yeah so this is pretty simple we're gonna go with stage two next we're gonna go stage three probably a three plus and then obviously there is a stage four i don't know if there's a stage five there could be i'm, I'm sure there probably could be but we'll see um this is kind of just a rundown on the stages for the built engines for the focus st hopefully you enjoyed like and subscribe and uh we'll see you in the next one